Well, that was about as French as French gets. A fisherman's tale puts you in the shoes of a puppet of a fisherman that lives within a miniature house inside the fisherman's house as you try and escape this house within a house within a house, I think. This game's kind of weird, but in a whimsical kind of weird way. It's really French too, which makes sense because it was made by a French developer. If I had to best describe the gameplay, I'd say it's kind of an escape room vibe. Each level you're stuck in a part of this lighthouse that you're in and you're trying to get to the next part and you have to solve some environmental puzzles to do so. None of which are really that hard, but it is entertaining nonetheless. This game has really high production values. The graphics, the voice work, the art style, all is top notch. The story for the most part is pretty lighthearted and entertaining enough to keep you going. There are a few parts though where it gets really deep, but as a whole it's pretty whimsical and lighthearted. The controls are simple, intuitive, and really easy to use. You know what to do from the start pretty much, and that's usually a sign of really good controls. The gameplay and most of the puzzles are very creative and interesting as well, and they'll keep you entertained throughout the whole entire runtime of the game. But that brings me to the one drawback of the whole thing. It's length. This game's not very long at all. I beat it from beginning to end in one playthrough. It took me about an hour and a half to two hours to beat it, and there's not really much of an incentive to go back and play it again. I had a lot of fun while I was playing it, but I don't see myself ever going back and playing this again. That's not to say it's bad, there's just no reason for me to go back and play it again. I completed it and I'm done. And while a short gaming experience isn't inherently a bad thing, it's hard for me to recommend something this short that you're only going to play once at a full price. I do think the game's worth playing, but I would say get it when it's on sale. About 10 bucks maybe. So there it is guys, my review of A Fisherman's Tale. If you enjoyed and want more content like this, hit that subscribe button and help my little channel grow. If you liked what I had to say, give me a thumbs up. If not, let me know in the comments below why. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Welcome aboard Fish Flight 123. Please keep your arms inside the mouse at all times and no splinters please. When I said this game was really French, I meant really French. I feel so much lighter, and the world feels so much bigger. I don't think I can go back into my shell after this. All right, let's do this. Because I don't know if you can get more French than that. <laughs>